Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect all the attachments sent via email, SMS, Instagram, or maybe even Facebook and attach it to your contacts file. So each time a contact sends you a document or you send a document to the contact, you can store that inside the contacts tab and have all documents collected in one space. This new feature will help you and your clients to reply a lot faster to clients requests or prospects requests, because now you don't need to scroll through dozens and dozens of emails anymore in order to get an overview and understanding of the conversation and collecting data and collecting documents because now they're all in one space on the right hand side where you can click on them you can preview them you can download them so now let me show you where you can access this and how this works in real life all right here we are pretending we have a conversation going with a client so we're accessing this conversation by clicking on contacts on the left and then we are clicking on the contact and the entire contact card will open up okay then here on the top right hand side, you can see this documents tab. Click on that. And here you can see all documents, internal documents, sent documents and received documents. You also have a search function here. So let's say we want to look for our Zoom invoice. Type Zoom and only the Zoom invoice will show up. You could also directly add a document here by clicking the plus add button and upload a new file right here. Okay, then you just drag and drop it to this window. And then you'll be able to click upload once you've dragged and dropped it. But now let's talk about the new feature. So let's say we are sending an email to this particular customer. Let's type a subject line, bit of content, then click attach files, click upload from system, for example. Then we're uploading the image as an attachment. So that's a JPEG file. And down here you can see add to documents. So you as the sender can now decide, do I want to add this to documents? Yes or no. So in case there are several people working in this conversation, everybody always knows what is going on if you do that. So check mark this and let's hit send. Now, another way how you could add it to documents would be you click on the three dots right here and you'd be able to click add to documents. Right now it's grayed out because we already added it to documents. Now let's refresh the page. And here you can see on the right hand side, a new attachment has been added. Okay. So we are now under the old tab. When we click on internal, there's no files at the moment. If we click on send, you can see there is three outbound conversations. Three files have been sent already through this conversations tab to this particular client. So we can click on outbound conversations. It will open up the folder and will show you again, all of these attachments. So this one is a PDF file. This one is a PNG. And the last one we sent is a JPEG. So all of these files work. And if you click on received at the top right corner as well, no files have been received just yet. Let's go back to Sentry quick. And if you click on the three dots here, you can either download the file or preview the file in a new window. Let's click preview and ta-da, our file is in preview. Okay. So now let's send an attachment back so you can see that it also stores in received. Let's go to the email. Let's reply. And we will reply with an attachment. Let's attach a file. Let's upload the PDF file and let's click send. Now let's go back. Let's hit refresh. Let's click on received. Here you can see the new email coming in. Let's click on that. We reply with an attachment. Here's the attachment. Great. We can click here and download it. And then we can click here on the three dots and add to documents. Click that. You can go to received right now and you can see inbound conversations, one file. Click on that and you can see the document has been added to the document section. And that's it already. This is how you manage your documents much more effectively and keep an overview on all your documents as well as save time and answer to your clients a lot faster. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.